Hello, I'm Jenna. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. So today I'm going to be educating you guys on what various types of caterpillars in North America eat. Now I have been raising butterflies since I was eight years old, so it's been a full ten years, and I know a lot about the butterflies and what the caterpillars eat, so yeah, so starting off, the black swallowtail butterfly. This butterfly is found in most of North America, and the caterpillars start off brown and white, but in their fifth instar, they are green with yellow and black markings. Instars just refer to the different stages that the caterpillar goes through when it sheds its skin. And this type of butterfly has like different, the caterpillars have different markings each time they shed their skin. The caterpillars eat dill, parsley, carrot, poison hemlock, Queen Anne's Lace, and Wild Parsnips. Okay, next up, the Tiger Swallowtail Butterfly. This is a very, very beautiful butterfly, and the males are black and yellow, and the females can be black and yellow as well, or they can be blue. Like the Black Swallowtail, these caterpillars start off brown and white, but in their later stage, they are green with two distinct fake eyes. They eat wild cherry, tulip, birch, ash, cottonwood, and willow. Giant Swallowtail Butterflies. This is the largest butterfly in North America. The caterpillars are brown and white. They eat Hercules Club, Prickly Ash, Citrus, Lime, Rue, which is an old-fashioned garden, garden plant, Wild Lime, Hop Tree, slash Wafer Ash. Moving on. Zebra Swallowtail Butterflies. This is another swallowtail butterfly, and I do not have them in my state, but this is what the caterpillars look like. They are green or white with stripes, and they eat the plants of, well, sorry, they eat the leaves of pawpaw trees. Monarch butterflies. Famous for its migration, this is a very popular butterfly and well-known butterfly. Their caterpillars are yellow, black, and white, and the bright colors actually come from toxins from their food source, the milkweed. These toxins are called cardenolides, and actually in small amounts, they will taste bad to birds but in large amounts, they can even cause heart failure in birds. So that's what the bright colors symbolize. They only eat milkweed, but in my state, there are two different types of milkweed, common milkweed and honey vine milkweed, and there are other varieties in other states. Moving on, queen butterfly. This butterfly is so similar to the monarch and their caterpillars look very similar but you can tell them apart because queen caterpillars have three sets of tentacles whereas monarch caterpillars have two sets and they do have a slightly different color than the monarch caterpillars okay moving on Buckeye butterflies. This is a small but very, very beautiful butterfly. The caterpillars are mostly black with some orange, blue, and yellow markings. I have always found these on plantain plants because that's the kind of plant that I have that they eat. And this one I'm showing you is a banana plantain 
which they tend to prefer over common plantain, though they will eat both. These caterpillars will also eat snapdragons, gerardia, false foxglove, and monkey flowers. Okay, moving on. This is a painted lady butterfly, and I have raised a number of these beautiful orange and black butterflies. The caterpillars can actually vary in color from black to a yellowish color to even a reddish color. They make nests in their host plant like this one that I'm showing you. They are nicknamed the thistle butterfly because thistle is their primary host plant, though they will also eat mallow and hollyhocks. Another butterfly is the red admiral butterfly. It is a pretty common butterfly and they actually prefer fruit over flowers unlike many types of butterflies. The caterpillars, like the painted lady, can vary in color and the larvae feed on stinging nettle which if you're not experienced, I recommend having gloves before you touch this plant because if it handled wrong, it can really burn your skin. I have learned how to touch the plant without it affecting me, but I'm just really experienced. But if you're not, wear gloves. <laughs> okay, moving on. Question mark butterfly. I have raised these butterflies a couple of times and the black and orange caterpillar appears to have bristles on it, but it actually does not hurt to touch it. The larva, like the red admiral, feed on stinging nettle, but also other plants such as elm, hackberry, and hops. Cabbage white butterfly. It's a very common butterfly and one of the first butterflies to come out in the spring. These caterpillars are green with a yellow stripe and sadly viewed as pests by many farmers. That's because it eats garden plants such as cabbage, hence the name, broccoli, and cauliflower. But it will also eat wild plants such as garlic mustard, London rocket, white top, things like that. And if you don't like it eat your, eating your garden plants, I would definitely recommend just moving it to one of these wild plants. It is so much better than killing. Okay, moving on. Viceroy butterflies. Don't mistake this butterfly for a monarch. They're actually a very different species, though they may appear similar. The caterpillars just look like this, and they eat wild cherry, cherry, poplar, aspen, cottonwood, and willow. Red spotted purple butterflies. This butterfly, though it has different colors, is actually very similar to the viceroy butterfly and it can actually mate with a viceroy butterfly and create a hybrid species, which is pretty cool. And the caterpillars look very, very similar and they do feed on the same plants as a viceroy caterpillar would. And one time I actually found a caterpillar on a cottonwood tree and I thought it was a red spotted purple so I brought it home and raised it but on the day that it emerged I actually found out that it was a um, viceroy. So yes, a very very similar butterfly to the viceroy. Okay, another butterfly is the Great Spangled Fritillary Butterfly. 
and I have raised a couple of these in the past, but it has been a while. And this is the caterpillar. And they eat violet plants such as common blue violet, native round leaf violet, and arrow leaf violet. Okay, moving on. Morning cloak butterfly. This is the last butterfly that I'm going to talk about. And see, the caterpillars are red and black, and they eat willow, elm, hackberry, aspen, cottonwood, poplar, rose, birch, hawthorn, and mulberry. So yes, these are all the butterflies that I'm going to talk about. Thank you for so, so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And if you found it helpful, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will know when I posted more content. And I am planning on posting pretty regularly now, like at least a video a week. So I'm really, really excited for that. And yeah, so I will see you in the next video. Bye!